Hi, my name is Joseph Witt from Save by Boss. Today, I shall be talking to you about Canva. Canva is a very useful tool to have in affiliate marketing, internet marketing, or as a business person in general, because it has a huge variety of features that help in your business on social media or in terms of other aspects of your marketing and your presentation of yourself and your business to the outside world. Today, I shall be talking to you about creating free thumbnails using Canva. And this is one in a series of free methods or free applications you can utilize to create thumbnails for YouTube, which will help your YouTube SEO. I shall put a link up there, uh, somewhere here or somewhere here regarding my other videos. I've done one initially with PowerPoint and I shall be doing one with Usine. If you don't know what that is, check on, check the links up there and see what they actually are. Also, a little later, I shall be doing a comparison of all three of them. So I will probably put a link there as well. And I'm doing this video before that. So it'll all come as we go along. But let's get stuck in. So with Canva, what we have here is a an interface that is very useful. And you can see that it depends on what you want to do. For now, like I said to you, I'm just going to be focusing on creating a free thumbnail and I shall be creating a thumbnail from scratch. So to get Canva, you go to canva.com and you register. And this is my account, as you can see, it's got my initial on there. And if you're looking to create different, like I, like I said, different kinds of me, uh, social media um, accessories or social media template um, features rather, then what you have to do is you have to come to templates and you can see what you can, the different areas you can work with. You see Instagram, Facebook posts and logos. So you can see it, it really does quite a number of things. But what I tend to do when I want to do, or when I want to create thumbnails with, with Canva is I go in there and I just search for thumbnails, YouTube thumbnails, like so YouTube, it already comes up to so YouTube thumbnail and it'll take me to this screen. Now, as you can see, you have a huge number of templates that you can use to create your thumbnail. And some of these are, well, I just highlighted them are for the pro, as you can see all of these are for the pro, and some of them are free. Let's see which is free, yeah, this is the free one. So if you did want to, you could take this template and you could change and you could add features and you could, or you could reuse features that exist within these templates. But what I shall be doing, I shall be creating one from scratch and the idea is to get to show you how you can do it quickly it's really simple and it doesn't really take very much so let's go so you click on create and it brings you to this user interface and what you see here is you have different ideas that you can use here. So if I want to use any of these, obviously I'll just click on this and it will load it up, but that is not what I intend to do. So what I want to do is I want to do a number of things. I want to change the background and I just want to add one or two things onto the, the, this blank screen. And it's going to be in keeping with one I've created already and in keeping with one I'm going to create for Usine. The one I created already was with, with, with PowerPoint, but this one is going to be just for Canva itself. So what I'll do is I'll go to background and click on background. And as you can see, you have different kinds of backgrounds highlighted, but I just want a plain background really. Um, and so I've just gone here and I'll choose this is a color I favor highly. So I've changed that background to this. And the next thing I want to do is I want to put a text on there. So I go on here and you can see it gives you a selection of different kinds of text you can use with, with this on this canvas. So what you have here is, you know, it depends on if you want this kind of text or this kind of text or this kind of text, it gives you a whole different range and a whole different setup in terms of how you use the, um, the actual uh, texts. So you can use it in like this. So you can use, you can actually pull this and you put it on here or you can use any of these. So you can see you have so many of them. I, you know, it, it just goes on and on and on. But what you could also do is what I tend to do is I tend to go and pull a heading on here and then I'll determine what kind of text I want. 
so you can do it in two ways you can either put a heading on here and based on that you you see you have the different ones you can actually change that up and you can do this and you can do this so you can do it in two ways you can either put a heading up and then you can actually change what kind of text you have or you can select one of the pre fabricated ones that have spacing and everything so that's how you can do it so next phase is to de decide what you want to write so in this regard i want to put in this for example how to so that's my how to and i put that on here now i want to put in a a text box here so i go to elements and let's see okay and i just take you see you've got different shapes here and if i just take this shape for example you can see all i'll just take the shape on here put that on there and i can resize that accordingly so i, want, I need to be like rectangles on there and what i'll do next is i click on that and i change the color to this yellow so i also want to put text on there and i'll just go in there and i'll take another heading i'll put it on there and i want to change this to you know something different let's see what which one do i want to use here This might be good okay I'll just use that for example and I could just write make money from or with or teaching make money teaching okay teaching I've actually done a preview what what I want the final one to look like but it's quite it's a bit different here so as you can see make money from teaching and then the next feature I'll do I'll put in an image I put from here it's not quite wide enough I think and it's not quite big enough so all I'll do is just pull this and put this on there put a space in here and that's that. And then make money from teaching. I'll make that a bit bigger uh, to really emphasize what I'm talking about. Now, this is just a very quick how to, to be honest with you. So, you could really do very many more things with this. And then uh, the next thing I want to do is again, images. You, you have a selection. I'm just using Pixabay here. If you click on more, it'll give you more options for different places where you can get free images. These are Creative Common images. And by Creative Common, it means that if you use them, they are free to use and you will not have any issues when you publish it on YouTube. So if I put money and it comes up with all of these, you can see a number of images on here. There's one in particular I'm looking for. Here's what I'm looking for. So here you have it and you can see it is actually the wrong way. So I need it here, for example, and um, I just flip it like that. And you have that brilliantly put in. And that's that's that completed. Now, there's so many other things you can do with this. You could you could put in a background, you could put in a backdrop, you could but you see how quickly and how simply that is. Bear in mind this could be your face or this could be different kinds of text. And so Canva is really easy to use. And this is starting from scratch. And like I said to you before, you could actually use the templates as well to put different features within what you want on the template. And you can retain some of the features of the template and you could add other features of the template. So Canva is a really easy one to use. And I'll encourage you to go and sign up for Canva and use it to your heart's content. And what the next thing you want to do to use this on YouTube is you want to go download and you can see the options to save well png is not really what is utilized with um with youtube 
it's actually more jpeg so you change to jpeg and then you hit the download button and it will just download it onto your computer which you can then upload onto youtube so that's canva in a nutshell and i hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe to my channel i make videos like this and i launch them on a weekly basis give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and what this tells youtube is that i am actually being interacted with and it shows my video or my videos to more people and grows my channel so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one bye